Joining us now, the head basketball coach at East Carolina, my good friend, Heather Mason. Heather, good to see you again. Oh, nice to see you. Now, last year you said, what are you going to ask me? What are you going to ask me? What are you going to ask me? Yeah. You're all worried. You seem like you're an old poet now. The biggest thing now, my voice is much better than it was a year ago. <laughs> we finally <laughs> have players coaching players. I'm not having to do as much screaming and yelling at them. So it's, a, it's great. Last year, first 21 season, what did it feel like for you? I was just happy for the kids, for yeah. them to get to experience that type of success. Uh, incredibly proud of them. And uh, now we've built a little confidence and built a little energy, and so we want to keep building on that. Two seed in the conference tournament, first time ever. That was a real pat on the back, I think, for the ladies. Now, we were picked to finish 11th last year. And uh, to finish second, I still think was a step below what we wanted, you know, what, what we worked for. But, again, I will say it was our off-season training and the mental toughness that the kids gained through all of that. You mentioned the off-season training. I had a football game there last year, and I remember going in the weight room. And there were no football players. It was all of your players, and mm -hmm. they were working extremely hard. But you and I were talking before. You almost have to temper it. I mean, you wanted to work hard, but you don't right. want to get anybody hurt in the offseason. Right. Well, we are so pleased with our strength uh, staff. Jeff Connors and uh, Aaron Walker works directly with our team. I've been so impressed with that, but it's our entire support system. So from our academic coordinators to our athletic trainers, I've just been incredibly uh, pleased with their buy-in, and uh, they're, they're so selfless to our team. Talk about selfless. You talk about whoever's the sixth person on your team, Christine Mile, yes. Conference USA, sixth person of the year. How special is it for her team, and do you ever start her, or do you keep her off the bench? Oh, her coach is just an idiot. She should have been starting her the whole time. Are you kidding? I had to ask. Yeah, I had to come ask. Come on. Uh, Christine uh, was a part of our very first recruiting class, mm -hmm. and the toughest kid I've ever coached, faced a ton of injuries. I, think, I believe she set the first 10 games mm -hmm. last season, and um, so that was a little bit uh, for her and because uh, we had to taper her minutes a little bit. But incredibly tough kid, and we're excited for her to return for her senior year. Nine, seven points, three, six rebounds. How much better can she be than that? I think that uh, there's no ceiling with her. I mean, she really is. Double digits, uh, points? Oh, there's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. It will be how her health goes, with, and her production will be based a lot of that with that. Ariana Jackson. Conference USA Winter Spirit Service Award winner. Uh, this is an exceptional young lady, both on and off yeah. the court. How proud are you of her? Listen, this is a kid that came to me. She hadn't made a B in college. She said, Coach, I'm just going to make a B so everybody will stop talking about this 4.0. And there she goes and wins the Conference USA Community uh, Service Award. And we're proud of her, but proud of our entire team. You know, we had over 500 hours as a team with our community service. 3.4 GPA, and by the way, I never got a B either. Yeah. But then again, I never got an A. They didn't tell me that you, what GPA stood for. I had no idea. 14 home wins last year. No matter what basketball team I've covered, NBA, college, it doesn't make any difference. Hubie Brown used to say, you win all your home games, you split your road games, you're pretty good. But by protecting your home court, how big is that for your team? It's our fans. I mean, they are unbelievable. They come out and support us. Regardless of what day of the week we play or, or what time we play, so we really appreciate Pirate Nation. Uh, they help us along that route for sure. Average 12 steals a game last season, eighth best in NCAA. That's the good news. The bad news is, you've got to shoot the ball better. 39 percent. How much was spent working on that in the off season? Well, we love the new rule where we can train in the summer. I think that's really helped our basketball team, and we've got a brand new practice facility. You got to come check that out. So now the accessibility for our kids to get in, I really believe, is going to help production on the floor. But the, the two things you can count on from us every night is we're going to defend and rebound. Mm -hmm. The shots are going to come here and there. And I think that we've, done, we've addressed some the shooting woes with our recruiting, but I think that we've also addressed it um, with the practice facility and their accessibility to that. When somebody has to step up, you lose 34 points to graduation. Mm -hmm. so who's going to fill that scoring role? That's a lot of points. Well, uh, two kids that don't get talked about very much, Tatiana Chapel and Keani White, because they're probably our two best defenders. But these kids are now juniors in the program, and the first four days of practice, I go, wow. I mean, they're really demanding the basketball and finding a way offensively to contribute a little bit more. So I've been so impressed with them. And my story I tell with Todd is that, you know, since her freshman year, she's never lost a sprint in any of our conditioning until now. And Jada Payne is pushing her, challenging her, and beating her some nights. So... Uh, we're excited about that, and I think that attributes with where our work ethic is in our program. Coach, best of luck this year. Congratulations on last season, but it's a Thank whole you. new year, right? Always good to see you, Ron. Good to see you, Heather. Joining us now.